pituitary gland the pituitary gland consists of anterior pituitary which is also called as adenohypophysis posterior pituitary which is also called as neurohypophysis and intermediate lobe which is also called as pars intermediata which is rudimentary hypothalamo pituitary relationship the secretion of anterior pituitary is controlled by hormones called hypothalamic releasing or hypothalamic inhibitory factors secreted within the hypothalamus itself they are then conducted to the anterior pituitary through hypothalamo hypophysial portal vessel in anterior pituitary these releasing and inhibiting hormones act on glandular cells to control their secretion and posterior pituitary does not secrete hormone so this is diagram showing the hypothalamus and the anterior pituitary which consists of uh, anterior pituitary and posterior pituitary and anterior pituitary related to the hypothalamus through the hypothalamo hypophysial portal vessels uh, both inhibitory and stimulatory hormones which are secreted from hypothalamus they run down into the hypothalamic uh, hypophysial portal vessels and reach anterior pituitary posterior pituitary hormones are synthesized by cell bodies located in supra optic and paraventricular nuclei of hypothalamus the hormones are then transported in the exoplasm of nerve fibers to posterior pituitary axons that arise from the supra optic and paraventricular nuclei of, nuclei of hypothalamus pass to the posterior pituitary via hypothalamo hypophysial track the nerve endings contain secretory granules which are called as herring bodies and they secrete adh uh, or which is also called as vasopressin and oxytocin so this is the hormones of posterior pituitary are actually synthesized in the hypothalamus that is paraventricular nucleus and supraoptic nucleus and through the hypophysial tracts they are going to reach to the posterior pituitary and they are transported along the nerves by the axonal uh, exoplasmic flow pituitary hormones from the anterior lobe are tsh uh, acth growth hormone fsh lh prolactin and beta lipoprotein are secreted where as from posterior lobe the antidiuretic hormone and oxytocin are secreted and from intermediate lobe alpha and beta melanocyte stimulating hormones are produced coming to the growth hormone growth hormone is also called as somatotrophin or somatotrophic hormone it causes growth of almost all the tissues of the body that are capable of growing somatomedins are nothing but they are the polypeptide growth factors secreted by liver and other tissues the effect of growth the effect of growth hormone on growth cartilage and protein metabolism depends on the interaction between growth hormone and somatomedins they are also called as uh, insulin like growth factors that is somatomedins they are also called as uh, insulin like growth factors uh, and their effect on growth are similar to that of uh, insulin on growth the principal circulating somatomedins are insulin like growth factor 1 which is also called as somatomedin c and insulin like growth factor 2 metabolic effects of growth hormone on protein metabolism growth hormone has an anabolic effect on protein metabolism it increases amino acid uptake into the cells it increases protein syn synthesis in ribosomes which is going to enhance uh, the RNA translation and growth hormone stimulates the transcription of DNA to form RNA it decreases the catabolism of protein and amino acids on fat metabolism the growth hormone increases the levels of circulating free fatty acids it mobilizes the fat from adipose tissue and it enhances the conversion of fatty acids to acetyl-CoA it has a protein sparing effect free fatty acids are utilized for energy and thus decreases the breakdown of the cell protein and they have a ketogenic effect that is excessive amounts of growth hormone mobilizes more free fatty acids so that large quantities of acetoacetic acid are formed in the liver 
and released into the body fluids. On carbohydrate me metabolism, that is, uh, growth hormone is a diabetogenic hormone. It increases the production of glucose by liver. It increases the insulin production and decreases the sensitivity to insulin, that is, uh, insulin resistance. Hence, it decreases glucose uptake on adipose and skeletal muscle. See its effect on electrolyte metabolism, intestinal absorption of calcium is promoted and renal excretion of electrolytes like sodium, calcium, phosphate and potassium is suppressed. And it also causes retention of electrolytes and diversion of those electrolytes to the growing tissues. Actions on growth. Before the closure of epiphysis, growth hormone uh, increases the length of the bones. It stimulates proliferation of chondrocytes and osteogenic cells. Protein deposition by chondrocytes and osteogenic cells are increased and it causes conversion of chondrocyte into osteogenic cell, thus causing deposition of the new bone. Growth hormone stimulates osteoblastic activity which converts cartilage into bone. And after uh, uh, closure of epiphysis, linear growth is not promoted. Bone thickening can occur through the periosteal growth. And this is how the growth hormone secretion is regulated. So growth hormone is regulated mainly by the hypothalamus by growth hormone inhibiting hormone, growth hormone releasing hormone which are going to inhibit and uh, increase the secretion of growth hormone from anterior pituitary. Uh, respect, respectively, then growth hormone stimulates the liver to produce somatomedins and somatomedins by negative feedback, they are going to decrease the release of growth hormone and, and they also can stimulate the growth hormone inhibiting hormone from hypothalamus. The stimuli that affect growth hormone synthesis are the secretion uh, stimulate the gro growth hormone secretion are decreased blood sugar that is blood glucose levels decreased blood free fatty acids starvation or fasting protein deficiency trauma stress excitement exercise testosterone and estrogen deep sleep particularly stage 2 and 4 and growth hormone releasing hormone are going to stimulate the production or increase the production of growth hormone Whereas uh, some of the hormones, they are going to inhibit the hormone secretion. They are uh, rather factors, increase blood sugar levels, increase blood free fatty acids, aging, obesity, growth hormone, inhibitory hormone, which is also called as somatostatin and growth hormone that is exogenous growth hormone and somatomedins, which uh, are also insulin like growth factors. They are going to 